you know, we see a lot of stuff. And I, I you know, a couple of things that jump out at me. Um, the first are that people really don't spend enough time thinking about the business model, right? Mm -hmm. So understanding the very fundamental basics of who are, is the customer or are the customers, because a lot of the models that we see today, there are multiple levels of customers mm -hmm. and participation. Um, what are their incentives to participate? What is the economic value? Um, what are the competitive dynamics? Mm -hmm. um, particularly if you're thinking about disrupting an industry, what are the consequences of that? How will players respond? I think oftentimes uh, entrepreneurs believe that if they align closely with the existing players in the industry, that will give them some sort of halo or protection. Mm -hmm. uh, but the truth is that that usually is a destructive path and it, it prevents you from thinking independently mm -hmm. about uh, the best decisions for the strategy that you're pursuing. So, so really understanding fundamentally business model and being able to communicate that, whether that's to your employees, to your customers, to your strategic partners, or to your investors. Uh, and we see people unable to do that quite a bit. Yeah. Um, and you know, the extra work that it takes, which you know, is probably measured in days and weeks, certainly not months or years, mm -hmm. to be very crisp and concise and think things through and identify the challenges allows you to avoid making the challenges when you're now 10, 20, 50 million dollars into the opportunity mm -hmm. and still have failed to think through um, what the, um, the, the consequences might be.